Hi guys, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to learn about interfaces in Go programming language. And people from Python background, this is something new for you. Let me explain you what is interface first. Now interface describes the behavior. When you talk about structure, it describes the data, wherein this interface describes the behavior. So these are named collection of method signatures. When I say interface, it's going to have only method signatures. So whenever this method signature is implemented in any of the structure, then that structure is said to implement this interface. Let me give you some example to make you understand what is interface. Let me take the important things that is required for any Go programming language. And let me consider that I have two structures. One is student, another one is employee. So here I have two class structures, one is student, another one is employee and some data inside that employee have ID, name and salary and student have role number, name and total. And I have two methods that is get info to print the data about the student. So let me create a variable for student first, I'll say student and role number, name followed by the total marks. And then let me have EMP, employee, employee has employee number, name of the employee, and the salary of the employee, right. Now here, I have two uh, structures, one is student, another one is employee, but both are of type human being, right, both are human beings, both uh, when I say either it is a, a student or an employee, both are human beings. And both have some similar behavior. What is that? I'm just getting info, nothing big, right? Both uh, the structures having similar behavior. I'm just getting some information, that's all. Now here we see a student and an employee or of type human being, right, of the same type and have some same behaviors. Then this is where we go for interface, all right? Let me give you some example to make you understand this. So if I want to make a slice of the student and employee, right, let me say or of type human beings, I'll say humans, and let me create a slice of it, right? So slice which contains both student and employee. Now I should give some type for it. As of now, I'm not sure what type is it, right? So let me say type here for, for, for time being, right? So there should be some type here which I need to give. The student and employee are of some type, right? So what that type can be, right? So when it is of same type, so I, what I can do is that I can say humans of zero and then I can call the method get info and for the for the second one I can say humans of one and I say get info now when I do this uh, human of zero is of type structure uh, sorry uh, of type student and one is of type EMP that is employee now here both have same behaviors right so what I can say like I have same type so what the type can be this is where we go for interface now we cannot do this without knowing the type. So let me let us let us uh, say that what is the type is that this here where is the interface takes the job here. So let me say type and I say human interface and both have some similar behavior. What is that? Get info. So let me give the get info here. I'll say get info. So when I do this, it means that whichever structure that implements the method get info becomes a type of human. Now we have defined human interface. This says that any of the structure which implements the get info method is of type human. That is, that is, it is implementing it. If any structure implements the interface, then we we can uh, use the interface as the upper level type so it, it means that employee and student of type human so it's a, it i can say it is an upper level type of employee and human so i can say instead of this type let me replace it with human right so when i replace it with human it means that the student and employee is of type human so i don't have any problem there so instead of calling it separately let me use a for loop i'll say for I'll say HUM, I'll say range of humans and then from here I, I'll call I'll say HUM dot get info. So let me save this and run it for you. Let me say go run interface example. 
Now here we got both the informations. How we got? Let me tell you. I've created two types that is STU and EMP and that's some data. And then when I say I'm implementing it inside a slice, right? And here I'm ranging it over the humans. And when I say HUM, first time it is STU, second time it will be EMP. So when I say HUM, first time it is STU, it means that internally I'm calling the get info method of the student type. So this will be called. And here when I say again, HUM of get info, it is going and calling the EMP method because that is what comes next. Now this human can access any of the methods of any of the structure, right? Depends on what I'm getting at that time, right? Since it being the upper level type of both the structures, this is how I implement uh, uh, interfaces. Now here, if I say, for example, I have a method called a set info in my interface, the student and employee, right? is not implementing set info right you can see that student class and employee sorry student structure and employee struct is not implementing set info method since it is not implementing set info method then this stu and emp is of not type of human you can see there is an error here right because i am not implementing the set info method if i don't implement the set info method right it means that i am not implementing my uh, uh, interface fully into my employee and student class right so if I want to implement any of the interface in, into my structure then what and all methods available in the interface must be implemented in all my structures then only it's said to implement the interface now since it is not there let us try to implement it let me say fun I'll say s and let me take pointer receiver student I'll say set info and let me try to get some input here I'll say fmt dot scan I'll say Amberson s dot rule number Amberson s dot name and then s dot total All right and then let me create one more method I'll say e star employee here I'll say set info and here I'll say fmt dot scan they will say amberson e dot id and then say e dot name salary right now here we can see it is of type a pointer receiver it is not a normal receiver right so let me save this and from here I am trying to pass an st1 right now here what will I do is I let me create an empty it is not required for me let me create something empty because I am going to get some input so here I'll say hum dot set info right okay I've given a dot here that's a problem you can see that I'm getting an error here because what I'm passing here is a normal variable STU and EMP but what I'm getting here is for set info I have a pointer receiver whenever I have a pointer receiver I cannot pass a normal variable so if I put an Amberson here my problem will get solved so let me save this yeah the problem is solved let me save it and run it for you. Let me say go run interface example. Now it's asking for me to give some input because it is calling the set info method. So what is there in set info method? I may need to give some input. So let me say 123, I'll say Samuel and then I'll give some total. So I'm getting it again, right? I'll say 124 Edison and then let me give some salary. I got the output, right? So I'm just calling the set info method and immediately the get info method as well right so whenever i am using a pointer receiver make sure that you are giving amberson or else it will throw you error or what you can do is that you can simply just make some change i'll say humans and i'll say here i'll say human of type and then i'll say new 
student comma new employee right so when i do this it is not required for me to create a variable here separately and pass the address here separately it's not required i can just say new of student when i do this automatically it creates the memory for student and then passes the address on there so let me save it and again run it for you so when i say 123 samuel the total you're getting it and the salary right so whenever we pass on a whenever we have a pointer receiver we need to make sure that we are passing either the address of the variable or i can just create a new variable like this with the help of newman uh, there are another uses of interfaces that we can use them as a kind of type uh, we can use them as a parameter type we can use them as a return type and also we can also use them as a variable type so let me tell you how to use them as a parameter type so to use them as a parameter type let me create a function called this process and then let me have a variable of type h now it's an interface type h now i'm creating this interface of type as a parameter type right so now from here i can call the set info method and as well as the get info method now from here i'll just say process of hum now what happens so based on what i am getting it will be passed to the process method from here i am calling either the get info or the set info method so this is how i can use my interface as parameter type now here i've used the interface as a slice type or a variable type i can see here i'm using it as a parameter type or an argument type let me save it and run it for you oops it's saying undefined h okay i've given the other way i'm sorry so i should give h space human and then let me run it again for you let me save this before so it's getting input from me i'm getting the output and then done right so this interface plays a major role in go programming language I know it's a little bit confusing, but I want people to listen to it properly. And if you want, you can just go through this twice or thrice. And if you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely get back to you. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.